What's going on guys? I'm Alexander Don and in this video I'm going to take you behind the scenes on a recent commercial I shot. So let's check it out. So let me know what you thought about this commercial. I think it turned out pretty good considering the fact we had only a few hours to shoot everything and the script was pretty long <laughs> compared to how much we squeezed this commercial down. So uh, originally when I started shooting this, I thought to myself, this cannot squeeze into one minute of movie. So I started editing and seeing exactly how this commercial would fit and the minimum uh, so for everyone to understand what's happening in this commercial was two minutes but obviously for today's uh, time and uh, how people react to commercial two minutes was way too long but the thing is that um, this commercial was built a little bit different so i received the script from the client the client said we want to make these ideas with uh, Simone and Anna which are some uh, national treasures I would say because Simone is one of the best pilots in Romania really uh, driving cars pilots and Anna is one of the best tennis players in Romania so they are both a couple and they want to build a story around this couple and their product so they kind of wanted to build a race between themselves because they are super competitive so uh, they came along with this idea which I uh, take a little bit and uh, made a few improvements to it in order to be more cinematic and create a little bit of conflict and all that. And from that point on we have the behind the scenes footage that we're gonna dive in and talk about more. So let's see exactly what I mean. So if you're used to my kind of videos you know we're gonna start with the gear I used. So. My camera of choice for this commercial was the Zcam E2 F6 and my all-time favorite lens set, the DZO Vespit Primes, which have amazing characteristics. We're gonna go next to my lighting equipment. I used an Unlight Forza 500 with the softbox and I used an Unlight Forza 300 with its normal projector in front and um, I put the Forza 300 outside and the Forza 500 inside for a reason and the reason was that it was a very sunny day and I wanted to balance uh, and expose correctly for the outside and that's why I put the Forza 500 inside so I can balance my light with the light outside since it was so uh, damn bright outside. Uh, with the Forza 300 I made a little bit of a shadow down this wall just to create a little bit of a depth and uh, I think that helped a little bit it wasn't that uh, flat. Um, here you can see me talking with my assistant director which was from the client side. Uh, he was helping me out with the products, making sure the products look good, making sure we uh, stick with the idea and all that. Uh, we also used a Nanlight Mix Panel 150, but not on these shots, you can see it in the background a little bit. Everything was handheld, so um, I think I did a pretty good job, it's not that shaky, it looks pretty good. The widest lens that we used was a 35mm, because I wanted to have that cinematic effect. Um, and uh, we chose to use 35 and 50mm. You're gonna see when we go outside. 
Now you can see me getting the shots that I wanted with him scrolling down the client's website. We also have a few product placements inside uh, the room. There are a bunch of uh, bean bags and products from the client itself. So we're trying as much as possible putting their products everywhere in order to make uh, brand awareness as much as possible. Uh, here I switched to the 50 mil um, for the shots where he goes and opens the door. I couldn't light the way I wanted because the house was pretty small. So I kind of went for a super high key lighting and trying to balance the light with the outside. As you can see on the BDS camera, it is really, really burned out outside. It was really hard to balance. Luckily, the Forza 500 did a great job and the dynamic range of the Zcam E2 F6 was exceptional. So, um, a few shots with him, just pulling the beam back, getting it out, getting it in and all that. And uh, it was pretty funny. It worked out pretty fast. I think Simone has a built in uh, actor inside of him because he was on point every time. Every piece of uh, advice I was giving him, giving him towards acting, he was implementing it right away. And this is like the best scenario whenever you work with actors. People need to like understand the process. People need to be committed to play. And uh, you also have to show them from time to time how they're looking. Maybe they can improve the acting. Um, here we're going outside where it was damn bright and a four x four would have been amazing. But unfortunately we don't have one. So I kind of have to invest in one. But um, we kind of like uh, for the white shots, we didn't put diffusion because uh, we cannot see their faces that close. But for the shots that you've seen in the video and the, uh, the close up shots, there we have diffusion. But what we did in order to not have this really ugly shadows on their faces, we had a Forza 300 with V mount batteries. Uh, heating them on from the side and a bounce board um, filling up the shadows in order to don't in order to have a uh, smoother shadows not that harsh and I think it turned out pretty good um, I usually like to use diffusion when filming in this harsh lighting but for this situation we did not have so um, I think it turned out pretty good. The Forza 300 right here was doing such a great job. It was filling up the shadows, even though it was extremely bright. So yeah, that's amazing. Moving back to the scene where they get ready. I'm giving instructions uh, on how to tie their shoes, what to do and all that. It was pretty basic stuff, but we wanted to have a little bit of a more dramatic lighting. So I put the Forza 500 from the side and I boosted up to the max and it balanced really good. It, it kind of made like a nice separation between the background and the subject. And we kind of got a like a really nice dramatic effect. Um, of course, um, using the 50 mil on this shots looks amazing. Um, overall, I think like we moved really fast. We, I didn't have the comfort of making like five takes over and over again. I kind of like went one or two takes. Okay, let's move next, let's move next. Because we had a lot of content to be covered in that day. So, um, Working fast is something, it's a key in this industry. You have to be able to work really fast. You have to be able to make sacrifices um, in order to make things done. For example, I made some sacrifices in terms of uh, cinematography because I knew that if I wanted to have the cinematography that I had in my head, I knew that I could couldn't have made this commercial possible in one day. So I kind of made a sacrifice to have a, a less appealing image, but finish the project and try to like kind of fix it in post somehow. Uh, of course, um, I, I don't think it needed more because it's, it's not a high end commercial. It's a commercial that it's more funny. It's more home commercial style. And I think it's, it, it, it kind of suits 
the cinematography. Of course, I could have done it way better if I had more time, but you kind of get the point. What I want to say here is that sometimes you have to leave your guard down and just finish the product. So um, here we struggled a little bit with the acting because Anna uh, was her, her first time acting in in a movie or in a video or something like that so i kind of have to do a little bit more takes in order to get her reaction perfect but as soon as she warmed up and realized exactly what she has to do it was like easy peasy just it was like it was just like if she was filming for years so this is what i like about shooting films or commercials with people that don't know exactly the fundamentals of acting because they act natural sometimes i mean most of the cases not but m some cases they act natural because this is how they are so you kind of have to make them feel as comfortable as possible get friends with them make them laugh make them feel comfortable around you and then they will be natural so um a few things trying here to uh, make that effect where she hits the ball and the ball hits his leg and then he goes on the back for this one it was kind of hard because um, she didn't want to hit us <laughs> with the ball but um, finally she did it she hit more hard and we got the shot everyone was laughing because she hit one of our colleagues and here we're practicing the fall which uh, Simone did an amazing job. He was like having a championship in a few days and he just thrown himself on this beam bag like it was nothing, <laughs> nothing to lose, uh, more to lose actually. But yeah, tried the different uh, kind of shots that I had in mind, didn't work as planned, but uh, tried them anyway. It was really hard to get what I had in my head but we did got the shots and they turned out amazing client was happy we moved to the next part where we filmed outside now we film the part where she jumps on the beanbag she actually uh, stumbles across a um, trophy and then she falls on the beanbag and we did this with the Sony a7s 3 because it has a uh, 240 FPS in 180p so we use that just to get a super dramatic uh, shot and um, yeah it was kind of funny uh, she was like a warrior jumping on that without any issues it was crazy uh, moving next to the final part you can see that the lighting has changed a lot like super a lot and to balance this we used again the Forza 500 and the Forza 300 both on our actors just to fill the shadows and kind of make them pop from the background and I think it worked out pretty nice the Forza 300 and 500 on the same time did an amazing job they filled the shadows really good client was super happy on how the image looks and their reaction and all that so now we went for the part where the friends come and uh, they meet each other and they sit on this new um, beanbag that they just bought and didn't have time to test it out and there are years where they look at each other and have that um, eye to eye uh, side that oh my god they sit on the beanbag that we just bought so it was kind of tricky to make this right but uh, again all of the people here were aren't actors they just did an amazing job and uh, again you just have to make yourself comfortable around them and make them feel super uh, relaxed in order to get people to be um, supernatural in your videos so I really hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes video and until next time don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, let's hang out more on Instagram and all that and let's learn from each other. Cheers guys! Mm -hmm.